Hi everybody, this is Peter Renton and uh, I am the publisher of Lend Academy and today we are going to look at a new statistic site just for Prosper investors called Prosper Stats. And here I am on the Prosper Stats homepage and the first thing I want to mention is that this is really Prosper 2.0 data only. This is from January 2009 onwards. Um, he's excluded the 1.0 um, data, which I think is actually a good thing because I, I really I don't feel like that data is all that relevant uh, anymore. So with that in mind, we have 35,000 or thereabouts matching loans. This is all the Prosper 2.0 loans. He is saying that that's around a 9.38% return. But let's let's dig a little bit deeper into this return and you can click this checkbox here, which basically says show results breakdown. When you click that, it'll come back and it will give you all the detail about all these 35,000 loans and yeah, broken down by loan grade, by year, by loan term, whether it's a, um, a new borrower or a repeat borrower, whether it's been previously late or never late. And we're going to talk about that again in here in a little bit. Um, and there's many other data points which it breaks down for you. Very, very useful for refining your investing. So what I'm going to do now is actually I'm going to take one of my favorite my favorite filtering criteria and um, see let's let's bring it in here into Prosper Stats. So I'm going to go and show additional criteria and he set this up in a very similar way to the way Prosper has this set up so it's, it's very simple to use and if I'm going to go and check now delinquent inquiries in the last six months total payments build and late payments less than 31 and late payments 31 plus. So what I'm doing here, I am basically, this, this is a, a filter that I developed on LendStats, which now, you know, LendStats, is, LendStats is not available for Prosper investors anymore. So I'm going to bring it into here. Now, I, I, I first thing I do is I choose D, E and HR loan grades. I look at uh, zero to one delinquencies. I allow it to one delinquency for this um, this filter, zero to one inquiries. I want one previous Prosper loan because I'm looking at only repeat borrowers. I want, I, I'll accept up to 10% of the late payments that have been a little bit late. I accept zero um, payments that have been 31 days late and total payments build. I want a decent payment history. I want to look at at least 12. So with that in mind, when I click on search, that's going to take those 35,000 loans and only um, provide the loans that have meet, meet that criteria. So we're down to 1,731 loans here with a average with an estimated ROI of almost 17%. Quite, uh, yeah, that, that, that's obviously a great return. So this is one of my favorite filters and that shows you why. And you can go now in here, just like we should do at LensStats and play around with all the data, see what uh, see what filters you, you want to set up. It's, uh, that's, it's a very, very useful thing. So now the other thing, I'm just going to go clear all that out and go back to the main screen and I'm going to look at my own, uh, my own account, SLN-10. This is my Prosper account again, and I'm going to um, show my results breakdown and search on that. And again, this, this gives me all of basically the information about my own account. It shows me that I'm getting around a 14.67% return. The interesting thing that actually matches quite closely with my seasoned returns number on Prosper. It's within 0.1 of a percent, which I think is interesting. And so I, that makes me think that the the discounting, the late loan discounting is doing is, is you know, it's, it's fairly accurate. So you can do this for your own screen name. You can do it for other people's screen names. Um, it's, it's quite a useful, quite a useful tool. The other thing I want to look at now is this previously late loans. This is this is a very interesting thing that LendStats never had anything like this. And if you type in SLN-10 and late a value of late, this will show me all of the loans in my portfolio right now that are current, but at one stage they were late. So I may want to go in and sell sell these um, sell some of these loans because, as you saw in the pre when we started off the previously late loans um, don't perform very well. So even though they're current right now, they may well end up uh, end up you know defaulting at some point. So you can go in and, uh, and look through that and, and put these loans up for sale if you want. 
So that's preview too late loans. Now my favorite feature on this is the top lenders feature. When you click on that, this will bring up uh, basically it, it, it defaults by total dollars invested. So we see Worth Blanket 2 are right up the top there you know, by far the biggest investor in Prosper. Index Plus by far the second biggest investor. And but the thing that's interesting that I like is you can um, you can change the search parameters. Was what I'm interested in is who's getting who's doing the best returns. So when I look at you know I want to see someone who's a pretty serious investor, say 500 loans, uh, an average note note age of minimum of six months, shall we say? And I want to sort by rate of return. So I want to look who are the top investors, and we can see that gives us a list. You know this this uh, investor here. Um, 113121 is getting an 18.46% return on 1300 loans and that's you know that, that's extremely impressive I'm all the way down here I'm down at number 27 SLN 10 um, one thing that is really interesting here is this, there's this lender activity link and let's go and click on um, let's go click on mine and this basically I love this because it shows you a month breakdown. This is basically how much I've invested every month since I opened my account back in October of 2010. It shows my activity in the last 30 days and then it shows open listings that are currently being bid on. And this is actually extracted in real time. So you can follow, let's just go back and say um, follow. Let's. I know this investor here um, and he's doing some really interesting things. Um, actually, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to go and check on lender activity. When you click check on lender activity, um, if I if I want to follow this investor, I mean, look, he's got an average low, note age of nine months and a rate of return of eighteen point two eight with thirteen hundred and sixty nine loans, one hundred and fifteen thousand dollars invested. And if I wanted to say, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and piggyback on his investment. I can click on one of these loans right here. Boom click on that it's going to take me straight into the listing you can see it's still open I can put in my investment amount whatever it is and invest boom done so it makes it very easy actually to follow uh, other successful investors because of this this is real time open listings that the lent this lender is currently bidding on um, so this is that, that, that's a you know, extremely useful feature so those are the, those are the main things. I think this is this site's only been going for about two weeks. Um, it's going to improve, and I I know the owner of the site. I've had many conversations with. He's uh, he's committed to making it more and more useful. I encourage you to go uh, to uh, Prosper Stats and take a look for yourself. Thank you very much.